Oh, Paul just had a great passion for the game. Um, he loved all the guys he played with. He cared a lot about them. He was a hard, ferocious competitor, um, captain of the footy club, and, and whenever uh, we needed someone to lift in a game of footy, it was Paul Nichols that uh, came, came through with the goods every time. Paul came, I heard a lot about Paul when I was in the seniors, come to the end of my career. Paul was in the under-18s over in Alfred, and we heard about this young fella who was fit, strong, and uh, revered over there by the under-18s. He was the king of the kids. And he came across to Ballarat, uh, and he just straight into the seniors. He fitted in really well. He was one of the first pick. We could see his talent. There was one memorable day where we had to beat Dalesford to get into the finals, and Paul was given the job on a bloke called Terry Love. Terry won a Henderson medal. And it was uh, beat Dalesford, beat Terry Love, and we were right. And uh, Paul kept him to less than 10 kicks, less than 10 possessions, and, and we want to win the game. And uh, Terry looked over his shoulder every time we played Ballarat from then on. He was, he was always there. That's the thing about him. He was always consistently there, never, never had a bad game, played almost 300 games, or I might have played 300 games, and he just hardly missed a game. Um, and he was just, uh, he, would, he was hard to play against and I think that longevity and, and his competitiveness, he, he definitely deserves to be a Hall of Fame. And the other thing about him is he never, um, well, he'd never complain. He's his support of the club. Um, no matter who coached, he'd support the coach. No matter who was captain, he'd support the captain, which sometimes he was captain, but that, that was the kind of, the kind of guy he was as a, as, a, as a club person too. So 